Hey guys, welcome back to Old Frederick Farm Homestead. Um, so we bought a, a new product I want to talk about a little bit and see how this is going to work out for us. These are some screw-on pallet forks. They have a 4,000 pound capacity. They are heavy duty. They're, the welds have, look very nice. They're definitely coated well, painted, uh, coated well. I don't know if it's powder coating or not, but they seem to be built very, very strong. They do have a 4,000 pound capacity load limit. They're 60 inches long, and these are screw on to my front end loader bucket, which I got, again, a heavy duty bolt that screws really aren't tight. I could see maybe a couple modifications I might have to make, just because they, I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. But uh, they fit really, really tight. There's a chain attachment here. I believe you can go through uh, to maybe put your uh, chain your payload, if, if so to speak, if you need to. I won't be doing all that, but a good tool to have around the farm. You know, of course, we load our, love our tractor and front end loader, hydraulic uh, grappling bucket, uh, heavy duty. It, it does whatever we need it to do on this farm. And uh, instead of buying a quick detach, you know, pallet fork uh, attachment for the tractor, I, I decided to go with these. They're mo removable. I'm not going to use them all the time, but when I do need them, um, they really look heavy duty. They, they're going to do the trick for us. There were some 1,500-pound uh, uh, attachment, you know, forks that uh, I just I, I think I needed something much, you know more heavy duty for what I'll be using it for. Mostly, you know, maybe lifting logs and moving stuff around, but we'll see. Um, oh, and yeah, we're going to be moving this shed over here that uh, we want to use as our hay shed that's going to go down by the goat, the goat station uh, next to that building. And um, so the pallet forks, this was one of the main reasons I purchased them. I'm going to go ahead and get that thing moved using these forks. Not today, but we are going to take care of that soon. And uh, we got a big, we noticed <laughs> while we were digging up the shed, we have a m massive pine tree that is dead. And uh, so that's got to come down. And it's right next to our power line to the house for our electric line. Uh, we are going to get the local electric company to come take that down for us. That, that's a little too big for me to deal with, uh, especially being so close to the line to cut and drop things. That's, I'm not going to take a chance of messing things up. So that's a project for them. I believe they'll be out this week to take care of that. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, just go ahead and move these pipes that are freaking heavy. <laughs> Get these out the way because we're going to clean up some area around here to, uh, so they can't come in and move the, uh, move the tree. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the forks. Man, so far a big thumbs up. They look wonderful. They look really well built. The welds are really tight and nice. Coating is good. And um, I mean, for my use, I think it's going to work out great on the farm. So let me get these uh, pipes moved. Culvert, just a piece of a water main 
And you can come see the thickness of it. It's really thick neck. It, it's a good almost three quarters of an inch thick. Extremely heavy. It's about a six foot piece. We were going to cut it and make a trough, two troughs for the pigs, for the feet. Uh, it's too heavy duty, it's too big. So we thought since we're going to be having baby goats in a few more months, this would be a good toy for them to jump on and play in. They like stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and put it over the, over the yard and get it in place where it's going to go. And um, it'll be a new little toy for the, for the baby goats. So we got a new toy for the goats. That should work out fine. They'll jump on it and play in it and the little babies will love it. <laughs> <laughs> 